type that likes to do some quick basic organization on the phone, uh, you can do that here with Lightroom Mobile. When I talk about organization, I'm talking about like uh, flagging, rejecting, adding stars to your photos, rating your photos. If you want to do that on the phone, you can do it. I'm personally not a huge fan of that workflow. I don't do too much of that on my phone. I usually just grab a few photos and dump them into a collection, which we're going to see next. But I do want to show you where you can use it. So let's just go ahead and tap on the Lightroom photos at the top there. And now I've got my my photos from my Iceland trip. So obviously, you know, lots of selfies, but also uh, lots of pictures that, you know, I, I didn't necessarily need to grab my uh, my Sony camera out for that I thought my, my iPhone would do just as well for. And then, of course, pictures of my wife and I out there. So uh, if I go in here and I just go ahead and, and tap on a photo, um, what you'll see up at the top here, you see it says edit. Well, if I tap on that, I can actually change it to rate and review. So now I can go through the photos and say, all right, I want to flag that one. Swipe to the next one. Yeah, I like that one too. Swipe to the next one. Eh, we'll give that one a reject. Swipe to the next one. Oh, who doesn't love the selfie of uh, me and my wife? Let's see. We got to find the right one. Eh, we'll go ahead and flag that one. You get the idea. We can do flags and you can also do your star ratings from one to five stars as well. So that's a quick way to go in and do some organization on these photos if you ever want a quick way to call them up again later on. Then what we can do is we can come back here to our just our general folder. We can go in here to Lightroom Photos. If I tap, remember, now I'm looking at the entire folder of photos. I'm not just looking at a single photo. And if I tap on that section at the top, now you can see that it gives me a whole bunch of different ways to go in here and sort and filter through my photos. So if I just wanted to see all of my picked photos from in here, then all I have to do is just tap on picked and that's what it's going to show me. If I want to see any unflagged, I want to see the rejected, or if I wanted to see, you know, five star or above photos, then I could go in there and tap on that. But that gives you a real quick way. If you are the type that is going to go that extra step and do the filtering on your phone, do your flagging, do your rating, whatever it happens to be, and you're going to do that, then this gives you a way to view just those photos. And once we can view those photos, what you'll see in the next video is now we can do something with them. And that's really where all this starts to tie in together is to take a group of photos, add them into a collection, to take a group of photos, share them, do something with them. And I think that's really the, the point where we really want to get to.